I'm Shay O'Neill. I'm a barber since 17 years old. And. <laughs> 17 years old? No, since 17 years. I started with 21 years old. Okay, start again. I'm Shay O'Neill. I'm originally from Spain. Malaga. I live right now in Berlin. I'm a barber since 17 years already. And we are right now in my shop in La Barba. I work as a barber to pay my studies, like a second job uh, as, a, as a barber. I, my dream was to be an aircraft mechanic, and that was my studies. But they asked me for a C1 of Deutsch, and in that time it was null. <laughs> I was working many years as a barber, so I tried here, and that was how I survived. And then after all this happened, with changing barber shops and seeing them, I feel not safe working as a barber, then I decided to create a barber shop because I could not find any other queer barber shop. I never thought that I'm gonna end to be a, a barber shop owner. I bought sneakers and I choose a wrong size and then I put it in Facebook, sell it, no? like in the marketplace, and I sell it. In this shop, it was uh, a tattoo studio in the back. One of the girls who was tattooing here say, I want the shoes. And I say, okay, I exchanged the shoes for a tattoo. And then when we were doing the transfer and everything, uh, I asked, hey, when they gonna open the bar? And she said, no, no, they don't want it anymore. And I say, what? How they don't want this space? This space is amazing. And then I was here and I was thinking like, wow, I see a barbershop here. And I say to this girl, stop what you're doing. Let's, let's uh, call the owner, I want to talk to him. I explain everything, the guy believed in me. After two weeks, the guy gave me the key. I have no money, I have no business plan, I have nothing. I call my brother and I say, Lolo, come. I need your help buying chairs, secondhand mirrors, everything necessary to start. We have planned to open in three weeks. In two days, we finish everything. I just jump in the pool without knowing if it was water or not. And today, still here, four years already. There is a lot of barbershops in Berlin. They are unique in their own concept. And our concept is for everyone. We believe that everyone can come. No matter your gender, no matter where you are, no matter your sexuality, no matter anything. We are more inclusive than exclusive. And I think this is what makes us special and different than the others. And space. we treat all the genders. We treat also all the type of hair. We have a specialist in every type of hair. We are a team of nine people right now. There are hairdressers and barbers. And they are diff from different places of the world and we have barbers so we do uh, from bleaching and keratin until shaving so we do everything and what we don't do we are open to try we are always improving and creating new services for having everything in one same space for everyone for example we have a lot of customers that they are in the middle of the transition and they start to get the beard and they don't know how to grow up a beard we treat them here or the other way around. People who want to let them grow the hair, they don't know how to, how to take care of the hair because they always have short hair and now they want to have long hair. We do sometimes um, solidarity haircuts. So people who cannot afford all the full haircuts or uh, are not at all because they are refugees or something. So we just let them come here and it's okay. My life was a roller coaster. I have a lot when I was a kid, I have a lot when I was a teenager, and I have a lot right now. I have some issues like, first it was my historia barata who scammed me, 
Then my business partner, who was my best friend, or I thought that was my best friend. I mean, if I could choose how to do it again, I would do it better. Because it was hard to do it the way how I did, of course. But I will end it to do it the same. I don't know how long I'm gonna have this shop, but at least every time that I'm coming here and I work, I give a haircut. Sorry. I need it. Sorry. This is the other side, no? <laughs> of the life. Of the... Today I get the contract for five years more for the shop. And sometimes I was thinking, should I finance as an owner of a company it was not easy unless for a person who is coming from another country and German is not my mother language and I have really really hard moments that I say I give up when I was always super super down what made me happy it was to see all the customers happy when I give a haircut and they feel so safe so good so fresh and say to me, thank you. This is what it made me feel, keep going. If I would say something to everyone in the world, my message would say, do it. Go for it. The no is already there. But if you say yes, that's it.